ever dreamed of watching your carefully crafted world crumble in glorious detail? Say goodbye to static environments and hello to dynamic destruction. In this UEFN tutorial, we'll unleash the wrecking ball on your 3D creations and show you how to make downloaded, purchased, or custom assets like walls, props, and building elements crumble and shatter. Not only will we show you how to achieve destructibility, but we'll also unveil two simple methods for customizing damage thresholds, letting you control exactly how much punishment your objects can take before succumbing to glorious ruin. Brace yourself for the ultimate explosion of creative control. Grab your tools, dust off your demolition dreams, and let's get cracking. To begin, you'll first need to download, purchase, or create a 3D asset and import it into UEFN. To do that, we can simply drag our FBX and our textures into the content browser. For destructible objects, we will need collision. So if your 3D asset wasn't exported with collision, be sure to check the Generate Missing Collision checkmark. Additionally, if we have a previously made master material, we want to set our material to Instance and then select the master material we'd like to use. If not, and you're unfamiliar with creating materials in UEFN, check out our Import Anything into Fortnite video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to do so. In the cases you've already imported your 3D asset and it wasn't exported with Collision, and Generate Missing Collision wasn't checked upon importing it. In order to add Collision to your asset, double-click the object to open up the editor window, then navigate to the Collision dropdown. In the dropdown, select Add Simplified Collision. In a later video, we'll go more in depth about how to customize collisions in and outside of UEFN. With our asset now imported and our collision set up, right-click in the content browser and select Create Blueprint Class. And in the pop-up, select Blueprint Building Prop. The Fortnite Blueprint Building Props and Building Static Mesh Blueprint have virtually the same setting. However, the key difference between the two is, instead of using the displayed snapping grid unit size to snap, the Building Static Mesh Blueprint uses a universal Fortnite asset grid size. After naming your new blueprint, double-click on the Building Prop Blueprint in the Content Browser. With the Blueprint Editor window open, drag the Static Mesh into the Static Mesh field of the Building Prop or search for your static mesh from the drop-down list. Next, ensure that Can Be Damaged is checked. At this point, our object is now a Fortnite prop and can be selected, manipulated, or duplicated within the in-game editor. However, no matter how much a player interacts with our object by shooting it or hitting it with their pickaxe, despite enabling Can Be Damaged, our asset won't take damage or be able to be destroyed. In order to make our asset destructible, we'll need to return to the Blueprint Editor window, scroll to Attributes, then make the following changes under both Attribute Init keys Change the initialization category to prop wood and change the initialization subcategory to one. Do this for both index zero and index one. If we compile and save our blueprint and now try to damage our object, we can see that now upon taking damage, our object instantly breaks. However, what if we want to change the amount of damage our object can receive? There are two key ways we can do that. The first and easiest way is to adjust our blueprint's initialization subcategory and or its category. Let's start by changing our category from prop wood to player building wood. We can see at this point our asset is much stronger than it was previously and can take more damage. Next, let's adjust the initialization subcategory and change that from 1 to 9. If we test again, we can see our asset is even stronger than before and can take way more damage. Each setting within the initialization category 
has different damage thresholds, and the initialization subcategory increases that amount the higher it's set. If you plan on allowing players to build in your map, and you'd like your object to give the player resources upon damaging and destroying it, search for Allow Resource Drop and ensure this is checked. Next, scroll to Resource Type and choose the option that best suits your prop. The second way to change the damage amount of not only this asset, but even the base Fortnite assets, is by using a Prop Manipulator device. With the Prop Manipulator device, you can customize a set of options for individual props or groups of props. You'll find the Prop Manipulator device in the Fortnite device folder. With the Prop Manipulator device, you can affect an individual prop by placing the device on the prop you want it to affect or by selecting Affects All Objects in a Zone. A volume is created and the device affects all props within that volume. To increase or decrease the damage a prop can receive before breaking, enable the Modify Prop Health value, then adjust the prop health. Additionally, you can have multiple prop manipulator devices within your map, but when multiple prop manipulators overlay, the one with the highest priority value takes precedence. Lastly, by enabling override resources, you can specify the amount and adjust the types of resource a player will receive by damaging or destroying a prop. Be sure to subscribe to never miss out on the latest UEFN content, weekly top 10 Fortnite user-created maps, and gaming news and reviews. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, or would simply like to share your map to inspire the rest of the community, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. But whatever you do, always remember, don't just play, create.